So hello friends, uh, today I am going to explain you a very important topic which is called Newton dividing difference formula. So here in this lecture I will explain you how we form divide difference table. Once you know how we form divide difference table then it's so much easy to use a Newton's power divide difference formula. Uh, uh, it's that's so much easy. So first I will explain you how we form that table and what are the notations we, we are going to use here because all are different types from previous whatever I taught. So uh, suppose we have given data uh, which is unequally spaced that means x and corresponding fx value given. So we denote here by fx. So x0, x1, x2, x3. Suppose these four data set points given. So here fx0 f at x1, f at x2, f at x3 given. So now I am going to write the first divide difference table. What is that? We denote by either this way or let me write in this. So first divide difference. So divide difference. I mean first detect difference and then divide. It, what is the mean of that? This means for these two here value is f of x1 minus f of x0 take difference and then divide by again difference x1 minus x0 and how we denote because if we are using x0 and x1 we denote this one by f of x0 comma x1 Similarly for this difference of these two so f of x2 minus f of x1 upon x2 minus x1 and because we are using x1 x2 so here f of x1 comma x2 similarly for this f of x2 uh, f of x3 minus f of x2 upon x3 minus x2 and how we denote f of x2 comma x3 now uh, this is that now I'm going to write second del square second divide difference formula this is I'm going to use this one so difference of these two difference of these two means f of x1 comma x2 minus f of x0 comma x1 divided by here because uh, these three values we are going to use so if you are writing del square it means leave one middle one so what is the x2 minus x0 so and it's due by f of x0 x1 and x2 similarly difference of these three these two f of x2 comma x3 minus f of x1 comma x2 divided by because x1, x2, x3 we are using so similarly difference is x3 minus x1 we leave x2 and it is denoted by f of x1, x2, x3 3 values we use then what is del q? this is difference of these two it means f of x1, comma x2, comma x3 minus f of x1, comma x1, x2 divided by here because q so we need two values so what is the difference uh, x3 minus x1 which is highest minus which is lowest what is highest x3 which one is lowest value x0 so in that way we can calculate and it is denoted by uh, f of x0 x1 x2 x3 so in that way we can proceed so here uh, in this way we are making a divide difference table so i hope you all understand it's a simple very simple just take difference and divide by this take difference divide by this take difference divide by this correct so we will get this one once you get this one take difference of this two f of x1 x2 minus f of x1 x okay. which one is lowest x1 which is highest x2 because only three values are there, x0, x1, x2. So, 
are we denoted by this way? So divided by highest minus lowest. Similarly, difference of these two. Which one lowest? X1. Which one highest? X3. So X3 minus X1. And you by X1, X2, X3. Because we use these three values. Now, difference of these two. Which one highest? X3. Which one lowest? X1. So X3 minus X1. And you have this. And this way we will proceed. Based on how many data set of points we have. Now, I am going to write uh, uh, Newton's divide difference formula. A uh, Newton's divide difference formula for Fx is it's very simple, f of thing like Newton's form, difference formula, f of x0 plus x minus x0 where fx here del fx means only first value we consider this one this one only first value, top values so uh, either you write in this way or you can write what f of x0 comma x1 plus x minus x0 x minus x1 with this f of x0 comma x1 comma x2 plus x minus x1 x minus x1 x minus x2 multiplied with f of x0 x1 x2 x3. So, in this way you can write the Newton divide difference formula. Now you have to just put the value. Once you form the table, it is very easy to calculate uh, whatever they will ask using a divide difference formula to calculate the value of fx at this point. Easily you can calculate. Now I will uh, do one question for that. Now uh, they ask you to form that table. So how we form the table? First we form first. Right. What is that? Nine minus four divided by three minus one. What is the value? Nine minus four means five. Three minus one means two. And what is the value? Here for This is x1, x1, x2, x3. So here for this is your in here for x1, this is here for x1, comma x1. Now for this, 17 minus 9 divided by 7 minus 3. 17 minus 9 means 8, 7 minus 3 means 4, means value is 2, and what is the value? Here for x1, comma x2. Difference of this 29 minus 17 divided by 11 minus 7. What is 29 minus 12? 4. This is 3. This is f of x2, comma x3. Once you know this one, what is uh, del square of x? Difference of these two means uh, 2 minus 5 by 2 divided by because we have taken x0, x1, x2 so what is highest value? x2, x2 is 7 minus x0 is 1 what is the value? 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 upon 6 means minus 1 by 12 this is your f of x0, comma x1, comma x2 and uh, what is the difference of these two? 3 minus 2 upon because we have taken x1, x2, x3 so x3 minus x1 what is x3? 11 what is x1? 3 3 minus 2 means 1 11 minus 3 means 8 uh, what is this? f of x1, comma x2, comma x3 now take the uh, difference of these 3 del q fx is difference of 1 by 8 and this is 1 by plus 1 by 2 because x0 to x3 so x3 
11. What is x naught? 1. What is the value? 142. This is a value of f of x naught, x1, x2, x3. So all values will be calculated. Suppose they ask you to find polynomial fx, that is x minus f of x naught. How much f of x naught? 4. Plus x minus x naught. What is x naught? 1. x minus 1. x minus x naught multiplied with del f of x naught means 5 by 2. Plus x minus x naught. x minus x1 x1 means 3 multiplied with this minus 1 by 12 plus x minus 1 x minus 3 x minus 7 multiplied with this one how much? 5 by 24 into 12 now simplify you will get the values of fx and if they ask a uh, value for any specific x, just put x value and you will calculate. And I uh, hope you all understand this one. This is very important and uh, in next uh, videos I am going to explain you about order of convergence and something which I have already left. So, hope you all understand. So, please uh, like and subscribe. Thank you.